is heartbreaking. At least four people are dead after a shooting inside a Georgia high school. The victims are two students and two teachers. And we just learned the accused gunman is a 14 year old. Right now, at least nine other people are in a hospital with injuries. There's no known connection between the suspected shooter and the victims. Eyewitness News reporter Jory Rand is in the newsroom with the very latest. Jory, investigators say the gunman is alive and in custody. Yeah, Giovanna, that's right. He was apparently confronted by a school resource officer, a, a police officer stationed at that school, and he immediately gave up, but not before going on that shooting rampage that so far has claimed four lives. So this is the, a parent's worst nightmare. Our country's latest mass shooting was also its latest school shooting. It's unreal and it's unbelievable. And I'm so sorry to the you know families that this affected. A 14 year old student went into Appalachia High School this morning in Winder, Georgia and opened fire. There are four uh, individuals who are deceased from this incident. Nine that have been taken to local hospitals with various injuries. Uh, of those that were have, are deceased, two are students and two are teachers here at the at the school. Parents who were alerted to the shooting raced to the school, many abandoning their cars on the side of the road and running to campus. They're telling us to run because they didn't get all the shooters. They didn't get all the shooters. Students were seen filing out of the school with their arms up. At one point, a prayer circle formed on the football field. It was scary, like... My heart was kind of racing. I didn't even have my phone or anything, so like I couldn't talk to my mom. I was just, I was just kind of scared. You can hear the shooting, but from like afar. And right when you can like about to hear the shootings, that's when the, like the announcement was going on um, for everyone to stay in their classrooms. Vice President Kamala Harris was campaigning in New Hampshire today when she addressed today's shooting. And it's just outrageous that every day in our country, in the United States of America that parents have to send their children to school worried about whether or not their child will come home alive. It's senseless. It, it is, we've got to stop it. And we have to end this epidemic of gun violence in our country once and for all. You know, it doesn't have to be this way. It doesn't have to be this way. And former President Trump posted to his Truth Social today calling the shooter a sick, deranged monster, saying our hearts are with the victims and loved ones of those affected by this tragic event. Authorities in Georgia did not reveal a motive in this shooting. We do expect another briefing here in the next few hours, but they did say they plan to charge that 14-year-old with murder and try him as an adult. Live in the newsroom, Jory Rand, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Jory, thank you. In case you were wondering, there have been 385 mass shootings so far this year. That is according to the Gun Violence Archive, which defines a mass shooting as four or more people injured or killed. And when it comes to school shootings, there have been 109 so far this year. That includes 70 on K-12 to campuses and 39 on college or university campuses. Of those shootings, four were mass shootings. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV and Roku to watch on your TV.